Hey what's up guys welcome to customize the droid today's video is regarding the performance tweaks for Sony Xperia Tipo so this uh, performance tweaks what exactly it is in simple word it will boost the performance of your phone that's it so the, this video tutorial is a request from one of the subscriber of my channel so here it is now the requirement is the rooted Sony Xperia Tipo and CWM installed on your phone in case if you guys are wondering how to root Sony Xperia Tipo and install the CWM, you can go ahead and check out the description column below. The link for the tutorial is available. So go ahead and root your phone and install the CWM. Then only you will be able to flash the zip file. So uh, how to get into CWM? Switch off your phone and then switch it on. Once you see the Sony logo, logo repeatedly press the volume down key. When you switch, uh, repeatedly press the down volume down key. And you will be into the CWM menu. Now, how the CWM menu will work, how it will function. So, it is not a touch screen base. So, the power button is the select button for the CWM menu, and the volume plus and volume down key is to navigate to the options in the CWM menu. So, now what exactly this performance tweaks consist of? It makes uh, less RAM usages, reduced DB data, data SD card usage, not DB files, that the faster database access. Uh, faster disk access throughout the remote script, better network throughput from TCP tweaks and 3G tweaks, tons of props, overall better form performance and yeah, better life too. Less lags, faster SD card read write speed, CWM, yeah, it is flashable via CWM. So first, uh, download the zip file, the download link is given in the description column below. Download the zip file and paste it on your, uh, I mean, uh, paste the zip file on your phone either on the internal SD card or the external SD card. So once done, boot into CWM menu by pressing the volume down key repeatedly. So once you're into the CWM menu, you will see all these options. Uh, the first option is the reboot system now, install zip from SD card, install zip from side load, wipe data, wipe cache partition, cache partition, backup and restore, mounts and storage, advanced. So you need to select the second option that is install zip from SD card. So select this option by uh, navigating it through the volume key and select and um, by selecting it by pressing the power button of your phone. So once you select the install zip from SD card, you will be into the menu call, uh, menu like uh, choose zip from SD card, apply SD card, toggle signature, choose zip from SD card, uh, external SD card and go back. So for those who have pasted the uh, zip file on your internal memory card, choose the first option that is choose zip from SD card. And for those who have kept the zip file on your memory card that is external SD card, you need to select the second last option that is choose zip from external SD card. So accordingly select the options. So once you have selected the option, uh, just locate the file means locate the zip file where you have kept it uh, in the CWM menu. Once you have located it, select it to flash. Select it and it will ask you to confirmation that you do, do you want to flash or something. Just click on yes and flash, flash the zip file. Now while flashing, wait for the confirmation that the flashing is done. Uh, so once you get the confirmation that the flashing is done, go back and then reboot your phone. So once your phone is rebooted, so you will not find any kind of software changes on your phone. But yeah, definitely you will find that your phone is running much smooth, smoother than before. So what I say like uh, uh, before before flashing the zip file, you can check the RAM usages of your phone. And after flashing the zip file, you can check the RAM usages and the overall performance of your phone. Uh, so after flashing the zip, your phone is now performance tweaked. So that's it for now in Customize Detroit. If you guys enjoyed this video, do hit the like button and comment on the comment column in case of any queries. You can also post in the request in the comment columns regarding the video tutorial. So stay tuned to my channel for further updated videos. Till then, bye guys and enjoy customizing your phone.